scored all of his four wins apiece, so this would be... Cotillon in quickly. Next day heading it back, it's McCoyce defending. Paul McStay has gone very deep for Celtic. Nickel coming across to join the central defence. McStay to Russell's clearance. John McDonald supported by McPherson on the left. shot is blocked but what a great opportunity that was for Rangers they made the forward run McClellan coming across to cover here's Russell great piece of play taking over the referee having ward with Danny McCoy's there's a picture for the challenge and Tommy Barnes which didn't connect but which was perhaps a shade reckless the flag is up on the far side against Frank McGarvey a midfield battle Rangers certainly willing to bring front men back whenever they lose possession. Here's Paul McStay now for Celtic. Good interception that from Patterson. Green to McStay. Attacking McClellan was a good one, but McStay very good in that turning situation around the edge of the box. Beginning to assert himself now, Paul McStay. Very important player indeed for Celtic. An opening from that midfield area. Now it's McStay's turn. Looking for the return pass from Proven. Green's challenge, winning the ball for McStay. It's one of these things, Jock, I think, were I the Rangers uh, manager, I'd be looking for... Clark to McCoist. Spinned it well from McStay. And now Russell takes over. We need about six pairs of eyes at the moment to see everything that's going on in the field. John McDonald was the only Rangers player up, they're now trying to... Support for him, but McStay picks it up for Celtic. Fine pass. Led in by Proven. Paul McStay is there. Chance for Celtic. Roy Aiken looking for a penalty kick for handball. Aiken again. Let's head forward. Tackle for McStay. And for McAdam. It's Jimmy Nicol. McClellan being pressurised by McClear. That was enough to get possession for Celtic. There's McStay. Now McLeod. McCloy in trouble. Just beyond McStay. Amy Cooper holding off the challenge from McStay. Here's McFerr. Now Cooper. Sandy Clark called for it. He's got a great chance now. Forcing his way forward and that'll be a goal kick, I think. Yes. He ran out of spots. Beyond the defence. There was McStay with the first challenge. Then McGrain came in and the ball breaking off Sandy. Celtic players, that wasn't the case in the opening quarter of an hour, but Cells facing the interval like all behind. Here's Paul McStay. Garvey back towards McLeod. Stranger defence. In the first half, I felt they were very, very tight in the middle. The two strikers were easily picked up, and uh, they didn't create an awful lot. £1,000 to the winners today, £12,000 to the losers. And very in possession. Coming at a stage in the match when Celtic appeared to have the upper hand. Headed away from McAdam under a lot of pressure from McPherson. Here's Paul McStay. McStay robbing Harry McCoy. Tackle on the back, giving Celtic the free. Here's Davy Problem. Stay inside. Barnes intercepting. And McPherson caught late by McStay. That'll be a free kick. Boy got a touch. Here's Paul McStay. Everyone back for Rangers. Hugh Burns showing a lot of pain. Is there? 
Ray trying to get away from McPherson. That'll be a Ranger free kick. Dawson stopping Proven. Good pass from Proven. That was a tremendous goal, John, because we've been looking. The game needs a bit of flair, it needs a bit of personality. We've got it there in abundance. Great composure. Just outside the box, here's the ball next day. And this really is a crucial scene. Now Cooper. Burns again. Next day. Tackled instantly by Dawson. Rather hopeful ball through the middle against tall defenders like McCullen and Patterson. The train's header going wide. Next day didn't quite make it. He showed great control, but the ball was Mother McLeod. Next day wins it from Russell. Here's McLeod. Spectacular goals. Russell playing it wide. What is now whistling for time up, but there's still a bit to go yet. About four minutes. By the final minute of the allotted 90, there will be some time added on for stoppages. Celtic pressing forward again. There's Paul McStay. Dave McPherson is with him as he has been for much of the match and referee Valentine gives Roy the... Roy a bit forward. <laughs> referee Bob Valentine allowing play to continue. He said there's some time layoff towards McLeod. It's Paul McStay. Barnes taking up good position again. Into space for Ali Dawson. Dawson, clo uh, McStay closing him down. from Cooper and Celtic only too pleased they turn that behind for the corner kick Talon well up there's Russell Cloud McStave getting off to make space on the right towards Sinclair block Drop Wallace can hardly stand it I think Green plating it in good Melville has taken a knock in the back of the head. The challenge with Patterson. Celtic with possession. Play goes on. Here's Paul McStay. Trying to take on two Rangers defenders. McClellan coming out of defence. McGrain. Paul McStay again. Couldn't get the pass beyond John McClelland. Half time at Wembley and extra time, still no scoring. Oh, good play from young Paul McStay. He's in a very good crossing position. Too high for McClear, touched away by Patterson. Finding Paul McStay. What a strength going through the tackle. Good tackle by McStay on McPherson. Getting the ball to Barnes. Looking for McClear. Scrambled away by McClelland. Stay gets it back. No doubting his commitment or his fitness. Paul McStay forcing it forward. Barnes looking for McCarram and he's his head to it. Here's McClelland. Stays in the way. Back it comes to McClelland. Headed away from Dawson, there's McStay. Stay again. For Mark Reed. Oh, McLear. Well parried by McLear.